Electricity is the flow of electrons through a conductor, for example a copper wire. This path is called a circuit. Different metals have different affinities for electrons. Some, like zinc, lose electrons readily, while others, like copper, prefer to receive electrons. All batteries have the same basic components, a chemical paste which conducts ions, a positive terminal made of a metal which likes to receive electrons, a negative terminal made of a metal which will release electrons, and a barrier to stop electrons moving directly between the two. When you connect the two terminals, a chemical reaction takes place inside the battery. Electrons flow through the wire from the negative to the positive, powering your appliance on their way. The metals inside the terminals react with the electrolyte. These reactions cause ions to move through the electrolyte from the negative to the positive terminal. These ions meet up with the electrons on the positive side. With many chemical combinations, this is a one-way trip. The reaction reduces the negative and oxidizes the positive. The metals become less and less reactive until eventually the battery stops working or goes flat. Lithium-ion batteries use the same principles, but they're designed so that the process is reversible. The lithium used is made into a compound with a crystalline structure, which allows ions to be inserted and removed without changing the properties of the metal itself. During charging, those same ions are pushed back into the positive terminal, ready to be used again. Lithium-ion batteries can be recharged hundreds of times, but repeated use can create imperfections in the metal which makes it less effective. This is why your battery life decreases as your phone gets older. To make your battery last longer, charge it little and often. Keep it at around 50%. Do a full charge around once a month to recalibrate the battery, but try not to charge it to 100% much more than this.